What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackboard Solutions with a quick market update for you guys all. I'm going to start sharing my screen so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. This is TQQQ. I ended the day at 8,800 on the day. There wasn't much movement in the sense of, you know, there was a nice little market recovery and then we pulled on back right before the close. I did a pretty good job reducing my position size at overbought levels. If you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group, uh, you would have seen all of these updates uh, within the trade idea section. So I just update them on, you know, what stock it is that I'm paying attention to. I don't send buy or sell alerts. I just make them aware of, hey, we're approaching a potential or previous resistance level. Maybe it's not a bad idea to reduce position size or you know just prepare for potential pullback. So uh, TQQQ didn't trade too bad. One of the things that we're gonna be talking about is the CPI data report that's going to be released June 10th, which is this Friday. It's viewed as the inflation report. So um, I wanted to ask you guys, I talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, I broke down last month's inflation report and I was thinking that maybe on Thursday, so in about two days, uh, we can break down the one that was released that last month in preparation so when the new one comes out, we understand how to make sense of it. Uh, especially with market expectation, we all know that kind of just like an earnings report, a lot of the CPI data reports have to do with ba uh, based off of expectation. So as long as we beat expectation, it's progress and the market can react in a positive way. If we don't beat expectation, then just like when earnings, you know, reports fine earnings, but then bad guidance, that is when we can get into trouble. So NASDAQ, as of right now, during the aftermarket trading session, I mean, it's really only been two hours for the after uh, or aftermarket mar after market hours has closed. Um, and the NASDAQ futures are now starting to trade. It's barely down anything, so nothing too significant based off of, you know, we still have that same generalized resistance level. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I just quickly wanted to talk about was TQQQ. And also, we had a lot of our traders, at least in the comments section, ask, what happened at market open? You know, with TQQQ, we can use this as an example. Uh, we saw a very consistent descending pattern. Why were so many stocks selling off? This is a question that you should have if you didn't, you know, trying to identify what is causing this selling pressure. And it was Target. Uh, although Target only ended 2.3% in the red, if we actually do the math based off of where it closed yesterday and the overall lows, it was down 10% pre-market hours. Talk about a nice little recovery, right? Uh, if you look into Target, and again, you can look into the news. Um, they reported, um, again, just really bad expectations uh, when it comes down to revenue-wise and profit-wise for their up-and-coming earnings reports. So again, just really setting low expectations, which of course gets factored in instantly into the stock market. So uh, again, one of the things that I could have done much better on is I could have reduced my position size back to 5,500 shares. I normally just hold 5,500 shares. I set a limit order. Um, it did not execute and then we went into the extended hours and I still did not sell. So a little distracted today. So if you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group and you ask the question tomorrow during our live trading session, Ricky, why do you have 8,500 shares? Uh, or 8,000 8, shares, right? 8,000 shares. Um, well, now you know why. So um, other than that, actually, I want to give a shout out to one of our Learn Plan Profit members. So check this out. This is Miram. It says, Ricky, today I've uh, or I've been a member of LPP for just a few months and I've been subscribed to your YouTube channel for the past six months, but I've learned so much in such a short period of time. Thank you for everything that you do. You have changed many people's lives in a positive way as well as thank you for all that you do. So Miram, we appreciate you. Thank you again for the positive uh, feedback. Um, and if you guys ever have any questions, if you've ever wanted to get started, especially when it comes down to trading in the stock market, not only do I trade live every single day with our Learn Plan Profit Group, but I work with them every single day. So if you have any questions, if not only do you want to watch someone trade live, but if you want your questions answered, not only in real time, but also, you know, it can be through private message. That's the whole point of our Learn Plan Profit Group. We have a private group chat, private live trading session every morning at Market Open. You have access to the A to Z video lesson library designed for complete beginners. And yes, you get access to the TechBuds HQ. And it's all only for our LPP members. One-time payment, lifetime access. And again, friendly reminder, today it is $100 off. And that's going to be that first link down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram 
It's going to be the link, the third link down below. Uh, if you ever have any questions and you just want to join our free trading group chat, that's going to be that second link down below. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. Hope and wish you guys an amazing Tuesday. Let me know if you guys want me to break down that CPI data report in preparation for the one that's going to be released on Friday. And I'm very excited to follow up. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.